Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez says he will begin to relax the rules ordering children to stay indoors by the end of this month. But he will also ask for the state of emergency set up in response to the pandemic to be extended by another fortnight. More than 20,000 people have died after contracting the virus in Spain. Official figures suggest one person in every 250 has been infected. The governor of New York, one of the states worst affected by COVID-19 in the United States, has said that the number of patients being treated for the virus there is continuing to fall. Andrew Cuomo says there are now almost 350 fewer people in hospital compared to a day earlier. But he stressed that the trend did not mean that happy days were back. Orthodox Christians have been celebrating Easter in the Middle East, transporting the Holy Fire from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem to Bethlehem. The ceremony, which is considered a miracle in the religion, took place despite the lockdown, which prevented any crowds from gathering to watch. The UK government admits PPE is in short supply in England and that more needs to be done to secure stock. We've got to do more to get the PPE that people need to the front line. This is an extremely challenging situation. President Trump insists that the United States is performing better than other rich countries in its response to the virus and that it will relax the lockdown soon. Doctors in Japan warn that the country's medical system could collapse amid a rising number of coronavirus cases. The police in Hong Kong arrest leading figures in the pro-democracy movement on charges related to last year's mass protests. Captain Tom Moore will be the guest of honour at the opening of a new Nightingale Hospital in Yorkshire next week. The 99-year-old Second World War veteran will appear by video link. It was announced today that the £23 million raised by the captain would be used to buy food parcels and counselling sessions for NHS staff. The chairman of NHS Charities Together said that the money would also go towards electronic tablets and that will allow patients to talk to their families. The BBC understands that Public Health England is to start recording coronavirus cases and deaths by ethnicity. It comes after research suggested that people from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds appear to be at greater risk of becoming seriously ill with COVID-19. There is to be no gun salutes on Queen Elizabeth's 94th birthday next week because of the coronavirus outbreak. A Buckingham Palace official has said Her Majesty had decided that it would not be appropriate at this time. It's thought to be the first time in the Queen's 68-year reign that there will be no salute, which usually takes place both at Hyde Park and also the Tower of London. Now, the virus has been spreading rapidly around the world, with more than 2.2 million cases now confirmed in 185 countries. At least 153,000 people have died, but the true figure is likely to be significantly higher. The US has the highest death toll in the world, with more than 37,000. One third of those are in the state of New York alone. Spain is the second European country after Italy, where more than 20,000 people have now died. And the UK recorded 888 deaths in hospital in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to more than 15,000. Demonstrations have continued in several areas of America against lockdown restrictions imposed by state officials to try to stop the spread of coronavirus. The protesters, standing side by side in cities such as Austin and Columbus, say the stay-at-home order should be called off before the scheduled end date of May the 4th. More than 38,000 people have died in the U.S. and it has the world's highest number of infections. President Trump said some states would start lifting restrictions soon. International music stars have paid tribute to healthcare workers in a globally televised concert, one that was broadcast last night around the world. Dozens of artists, including Elton John, The Rolling Stones and Taylor Swift, performed from their homes for the show. Lady Gaga, who curated the lineup, called the event a love letter to the world. Now you can watch highlights of that if you missed it last night. That's on BBC One tonight at 7.15.